Hello and welcome to the Rosetude series. Today we're going to look at the Rosetude number 15. So let's first take a look at the score. Key signature B minor, F sharp, C sharp and A sharp. Tempo Araggio. A good tempo will be quarter notes equal seventy. Time signature three four, so three quarter notes per measure. Dynamics pianissimo to forte. Articulation mainly slurs. Breath marks if you have some already written, use it. Type of etude it's a lyrical etude. So how to practice this etude? Practice slowly. First divide. So eight notes equal 70 on your metronome will be a good tempo to start and then make your way up to 108. Then try to play it at quarter note equal 70. Practice one melodic line at a time from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines and so on. So a few tips before starting to practice that etude. Uh, let's look at measure 11. So here we have an E sharp and I just wanted to say that an E sharp is like an F. Okay? So here you're just going to take F on the left or on the right, on the right, but um, it's E sharp equal F. Let's look at measure 12. Measure 12, we have E sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. So G sharp has to be on the right. So the note before, the note before at least has to be on the left, and the one even before has to be on the right. So E sharp or F, natural, actually is on the right. And then you're going to take F sharp on the left and G sharp on the right. So I'll just play it. <laughs> Another measure, measure 13. We have a trill on F sharp and then ending of the trill. So here I actually use both, um, you might not have heard it, but I use both uh, F to F sharp changing the finger or F to F sharp using the chromatic fingering. So here it's up to you. Then measure 19. We have a D sharp again, meaning the B before has to be on the left and the C sharp before has to be on the right. Finally, measure 30. We have again a D sharp on the right, meaning the C after has to be on the left. So now that we've seen a few tips, a lot, we're about the D sharp on the right. Let's try to play this piece. Uh, so I'll play it. You can follow along with the score and I hope it will help you.